Today we are going to talk about the functions of the platelets and coagulation system, right? So when we talk about this uh, platelet function and dysfunction and coagulation system, there are few terms which should be very clear in our mind, right? For example, the terms which should be clear, number one, you should know what is meant by platelet plug. Platelet plug, right? Primary platelet plug. What is the concept of what is meant by primary platelet plug? Then you must know what is meant by coagulation. Coagulation. Then what is your concept of platelet platelet adhesion adhesion platelet activation platelet aggregation these terms should be very very clear by the end of the lecture platelet aggregations What is secondary platelet plug? Secondary hemostatic plug, hemostatic plug or secondary platelet plug. What is your concept of clot? What is your concept of thrombus? What is your concept of embolus? Right, so these nine terms should be really clear in your mind. While we are starting with the lectures, right by the end of the lecture, you must know what is primary platelet plug, which is also called primary hemostatic plug. What is coagulation? What is platelet adhesion? What is platelet activation? What is platelet aggregation? What is secondary hemostatic plug? What is meant by clot? What is thrombus? What is embolus? Have you heard of these terms? Have you heard of things like this? You never heard of platelet plug? Okay. Uh, first of all, I would like that we define what is coagulation. Who is going to tell me what is coagulation? Uh, question goes to someone very intelligent. Mm, question goes to you. Yes, please. What is coagulation? Aggregation of, Aggregation of platelet according to her. Uh, write it down and put a very big cross. Any other definition of coagulation? Yes, please. Yes. Uh, okay, she has a definition which is of course not true. That aggregation of aggregation of the red blood cell is uh, coagulation. Not. Gavin, we have to depend on your immense amount of knowledge. Uh, is it like a mechanism of maintaining hemostasis? Okay, he tried to confuse me, <laughs> all right? So anyone who is confident enough to know uh, what is coagulation, yes, please. We, because we keep on hearing these terms all the time. Oh my God, you, everyone has his own private and personal concepts. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah, in the end he come up with good things, that's right. <laughs> Look, coagulation process, if Purely coagulation process is a property of plasma. This is the very first concept today for you that coagulation is a property of plasma. Plasma alone can coagulate. It means coagulation does not require mandatorily platelets, RBCs and WBCs. Coagulation is a process which can occur alone in the plasma as well. Is that right? The true definition of coagulation is, coagulation is a process by which, by which soluble fibrinogen convert into insoluble fibrin, that's it, right? So what is coagulation? Coagulation is a cascade of enzymatic reactions at the end of which soluble soluble yes fibrinogen fibrinogen is a protein which is normally present in your 
blood it is produced by the liver the liver is all the time producing fibrinogen and releasing in your circulation your every drop of blood has some amount of fibrinogen normally fibrinogen is a protein which is soluble in the plasma right but during the process of coagulation soluble fibrinogen is converted into insoluble yes fibrin strands fibrin strands so this is the coagulation process is that right even though platelets help in coagulation process but process of coagulation itself is a property of plasma that plasma alone can can coagulate right it is just a process in which soluble fibrinogen protein is converted into insoluble fibrin, fibrin strands that's it is it clear